Mrs. Unicorn came to pick the kids up from daycare. <laughs> Hi, Miss Moo. Hi, Mrs. Unicorn. How are the kids today? Amazing as always. <laughs> That's great. You kids ready to go? Yes. We're going on an amazing journey home. See you See tomorrow, tomorrow, Mrs. Mrs. Moo. See you tomorrow, kids. And they're all going to walk back together. It was hot outside, so the kids got some ice cream before continuing on their journey. Come. Mm. Mm. Dee Dee made a little mess. <laughs> Dee Dee! <laughs> you have ice cream on your face. <laughs> Where? Here? <laughs> Dee Dee, you look old. Huh? You look like a grandpa. <laughs> Whoa, guys, look. What is that? Whoa. Let's go check it out. Come, let's go. Let's find out what it is first, then go check. What do you think it could be? A huge lollipop! <gasps> I think it's an alien that fell out of his UFO, and we have to help him. I think it's a huge sword. Only a worthy warrior would be able to pull it out. Oh. Yeah. Want me to tell you what huh? it really is? Of, of course. course. Let's get closer. Uh, see, it's just a scarecrow. Ooh. A scarecrow? Yes. Farmers use them to scare birds away from eating their crops. The birds think there's a person in the field, so they don't come close. Oh, oh, that, that makes, makes sense. sense. Want to make one at home? Totally! Then let's go. Ready to make a scarecrow? Yeah! yeah. We'll need two branches. Yay! <laughs> uh. Make a body out of hay. Should we put clothes on him? Yeah. yeah! Let's use one of Mr. Unicorn's old blazers. You don't mind, right? <laughs> of course not. Uh -huh. We'll use a ball to make the head. And we'll give him a nice hat. Yay! What do you think? Me too. See, he's not scary at all. No, he's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now it's lunchtime. Yeah! The kids and Mimi's parents made their very own scarecrow. It won't scare birds away, it's just for fun. Mimi was having a normal, sleepy morning. Mimi, no sleeping at the table. Five more minutes? Mimi. Um, okay, okay, I'm not sleeping. Um, that's good. It seems like nothing at all can make Mimi wake up. Until the radio says something very interesting. <gasps> and tonight, don't forget to look at the sky. You might just see some shooting stars falling down. Shooting stars? Mom, why do stars fall? I'll tell you when you finish your breakfast. But, Mom... Breakfast first. Fine. Come. All done! Good girl. Now will you tell me about shooting stars? Of course. I promised, right? So, shooting stars are actually... Hello? Um... 
Mimi, hold on a second. This is for work. Mimi, we're here. <gasps> Come play what? with us. <laughs> Mom, will you tell me later? Yes, of course. You can go play with your friends. I'll be done soon. Thanks. Of course. Love you, Mom. Love you too, Mimi. Hi, Hi Mimi. Hi. Guys, do you know what shooting stars are? Of course. It's when stars fall out of the sky. Do you know why they fall? No. Neither do I. <sighs> why do they fall? Oh, my grandma told me that if you see a shooting star, you have to make a wish. Yeah. If a star sees that you have a wish, it starts to fall. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Oh. What if a star falls because it trips? Aw, uh, poor star. Yeah. We'll never figure it out ourselves. Let's go and see if my mom can explain it to us. Great idea, Mimi. Let's go. Whoa. Mom! Hello. Hi, boys. Mom, can you tell us why stars fall? We really want to know. Of course I can. But I have an even better idea. How about we wait for it to get dark? Then we can watch the shooting stars through a telescope. And I'll tell you all about it. Yay! Hi, honey. Can you bring a telescope home? Yeah. Great. Thank you. While the kids are waiting for the sun to set, they play outside, eat, nap, eat some more, and watch cartoons. And now, it's the evening. Hi, kids. Look what I brought you. Ooh. This is a telescope. It'll help you see the shooting stars. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> it's starting. <gasps> Isn't it beautiful? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But actually, those aren't stars. What? Yep. They start out as space rocks called meteoroids. They fly through space until they start to fall onto the surface of the Earth. Oh, oh no. no! But don't be scared. You know, our planet has an atmosphere around it. I knew that! So when the meteoroids reach our atmosphere, they get so hot that they start to burn up. That's why it looks like a falling star. Wow! Most meteoroids burn up in space before they even reach us. Huh. Phew, that's a relief. Look through the telescope and watch it happen. Um. Uh. Aw, you got a little tired today, huh? Yeah. Then let's go. Mr. Unicorn will drive you home. And Mimi has to go to bed, too. Yeah, I had a long day. Wow. The kids had a busy day and ended up getting really tired. But they learned a lot of really cool stuff. I hope you learned something cool, too. Today, Mimi, Theo, and Didi are enjoying some yummy donuts that Didi's grandma made. Oh. Yep. Didi, your grandma is amazing. These donuts are so yummy. Mm. They are really good, but I have a question. Why do donuts have holes in them? Mm. Probably to save dough. No, it's to make them easier to hold. See? Ah, uh, no, Dee Dee. 
I could bite my finger off. Whoa. Wow! Look, Mimi has an amazing idea. Diddy, Theo, donuts have holes so that... Huh? We can see what a yummy place the world is. Look, donut glasses. Don't worry, Mimi. I can swim. Mm, cherry ice cream. I have pistachio. Mmm, orange. My favorite. I hope my mom and dad didn't turn into cookies. <laughs> Phew. Hi, mom. Hi, Hi dad. Hi, kids. What are you kids up to? The donuts are all <gasps> over the place. Whoa. Oh, we'll clean it up. Grandma, why do you put holes in donuts? So you use less dough, right? <laughs> of course not, sweetie. It's pretty simple, kids. The donuts just cook faster if they have a hole in them. Plus, it helps them keep their shape. Now, can you help me decorate the donuts with glaze? What color do you want? I want green. Orange. I'll go for pink. Wow. Mm. Yeah. This is still the best way to eat them. Hum dum dum hum dum dum. <laughs> <laughs> what a sweet trip into the world of donuts. Now, the kids know exactly why donuts have holes. And they even helped Dee Dee's grandma. Great job, kids. Mimi, Theo, and Dee Dee are having a sleepover for the first time at Dee Dee's house. This is my first time sleeping somewhere other than my house. Same. Me too. Didi, this is your house. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Didi. Next time, you can have a sleepover at Theo's or Mimi's house. Definitely. You're invited. Thanks, guys. But right now, it's time for bed. This nightlight will keep you safe at night. I'm flying to bed. Whoa! Huh? What was that? The light turned the wall clear! A bird lives in the apartment next door. 
We just saw it! Mimi loves using her imagination. Her friends are always happy to play along. But a bird doesn't live next door. Maybe this bird lives at the end of the ray of light. And it just wanted to say hi to us. Hi, birdie. Nice to meet you. Do you have any friends? Of course she does. They're playing together. They're just like us. We should invite them to the next sleepover. Yeah! The kids were having such a fun conversation <laughs> that they didn't even notice Grandpa <laughs> D coming back into the room. Why are you talking instead of sleeping? We made some friends. There were three of them in here. They live all the way over there. But they flew away. They must be shy. Friends? All the way over there? They flew away? Oh, I see. Is that your friend? Yeah, it's a bird. Where are the other two? Grandpa D was having so much fun that Mimi actually noticed what he was doing. Hold on, Grandpa D! Are you making our friends with your hands? That's right, Mimi. Good eye. How are you doing that? Using a shadow. A shadow? What's a shadow? Grandpa D, will you explain? Where do I begin? Everyone has a shadow. Even you. What about me? You too. Huh? Everyone has one. Wow, cool. You can try it. Didi, Theo, let's try. <laughs> but how are you doing uh, that? We're just doing what you're doing. What's the secret? Get nice and cozy, and I'll tell you. Shadows are the result of light sources. Can you name a few? The sun. Light bulbs. A candle. You got it. See? You kids are so smart. So, rays of light can move until they bump into something that's in their way. Cool! But they can go through clear things. Like water! Or glass! That's right! So, when the light hits something that's not transparent, like our hands, it makes a dark spot. And that spot is called a shadow. So, like... When we go outside, and the sun leaves a trail behind me? Yes, that's exactly right. Awesome! And now, we can use shadows to tell a bedtime story about your birdie friend. Wow! A, a bedtime, bedtime story about, about a bird! Uh, oh. So, a bird was flying and saw her friend... A bunny! <sighs> yeah. So, then the bird flies along until she sees her bunny friend. Hi, bunny! Oh, hold on. I don't know how to make a bunny. This is a tricky one. Hey, kiddos, what do you think? <laughs> that was a short bedtime story. But that's okay. Now they won't know I don't know how to make a bunny. Well, I'm going to bed. What a great day. The kids learned all about shadows. This was the best slumber party ever. <laughs> Today, Mimi and her mom have come to Mr. Oink's farm. Hello, Mr. Oink. Hi, Mr. Oink. Oh, hi there. Nice to see you. How can I help you today? We want to plant some flowers in our garden. Mimi promised she'd help me. I love helping my mom. I think I know what you need. He's going to bring us some flowers. Here you go. The best of the best. My finest seeds. Huh? 
No, we need flowers, not seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi, Mr. Oink knows what he's talking about. Seeds grow into flowers. I'll show you at home. Let's say thank you to Mr. Oink. Seeds grow into flowers? That's interesting. Thanks, Mr. Oink. Bye-bye. Have a good day. <laughs> that was funny. Mimi and her mom headed straight home. Theo and Dee Dee showed up to wait for them. Yeah. You're already here. Hi, kids. Hi, Hi Miss Unicorn. Mom, can Theo and Dee Dee help us with the flowers? Of course. The more the merrier. Yay! You kids hang out for a sec, and I'll go get everything ready. Yay! We, we get, get to plant flowers! Uh, what are we going to do? Mr. Oink gave us seeds instead of flowers for some reason. That's like a fairy tale. They must be magic seeds. We can grow magic flowers! It's going to be a huge flower with rainbow petals. And the flower will smell like bubble gum. <sighs> gum will grow on the flower. Mm. Mm. <laughs> then we can use the petals to jump down like a parachute. <laughs> Woo! I want to plant it already! Mom, let's plant our magic flower already! It's going to be so tall! What do you mean, magic flower? How tall do you think it's going to get? Mr. Oink sold us magic seeds, like wow. in a fairy tale! No, no, kids. Mr. Oink sold us normal seeds. Oh. All flowers grow from seeds. <gasps> Even those red roses? Yes, and not all roses are red. And not all daisies are white. Flowers can be all kinds of different colors. Like yellow roses? Yes. Here, I'll explain it to you. A long, long time ago, the flowers were even bigger, and they were everywhere. But they were all gray, not very pretty. Our garden would have been so sad, like it is right now. That's for sure, Mimi. Anyway, insects moved pollen from one flower to another. That's how flowers reproduce. So there grew lots and lots more flowers. Even more than at the park? Way more than that, Dee Dee. There were so many flowers that they had to get creative to get the bugs' attention. So they'd get pollen from them instead. That's right. If you don't pollinate a flower, it wilts. So the flowers started changing colors and putting on fancy outfits. It's like when we're going to a party so everyone can see us being pretty. Every day is a party for the flowers. They want to get noticed and pollinated. Is that why people give flowers on special <laughs> occasions? I think so. It really makes a party feel like a party. Anyway, flowers come in all shapes and colors. It's all about showing the pollinators how special they are. Nowadays, we can plant seeds to grow flowers. Like the seeds we got from Mr. Oink. That's right. Now, let's plant these flowers. Will our flower be red or yellow? How long do we have to wait? 10 minutes? 15? What's it gonna smell like? You're going to have to be patient. We need to take care of the seeds every day. And one day, you'll wake up and see the flower. And then you'll have the answer to all your questions. We'll take such good care of it. Today, the kids learned all about why flowers come in different colors. And soon, 
They'll have their very own The Magic Flower. Good morning. Good morning, Mimi and Theo. Hi. I couldn't wait to see you guys. What's up, Mimi? I had an amazing dream. Me too, but tell us yours first. I dreamt we were riding clouds like skateboards. <laughs> what was your dream about, Theo? In my dream, we were all birds. Yep. Dee Dee, what did you dream about? Uh. <sighs> What's wrong, Dee Dee? You guys had awesome dreams, but I didn't dream about anything. <sighs> Where did it go? I think I know. A dream thief stole it. Yeah, let's find that thief and steal Dee Dee's dream back. We need someone who sleeps a lot. Uh, I know. My grandpa's always asleep. Yeah! Oh. Let's go to Dee Dee's place. I told you he'd be asleep. Let's hide and wait for the thief. Then we'll catch them. Let's hide behind the couch and wait there. Ah. Huh? <gasps> 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 oh, what's going on? Grandpa saw it's us. Oh, <laughs> hello, kids. What are you doing here? Dee Dee didn't have a dream last night. And we think a dream thief stole his dream. We were gonna try to catch them if they tried to steal your dream, but we accidentally woke you up. <laughs> a dream thief? Oh, you kids are so creative. I like your thinking, but there's no such thing as dream thieves. So where's my dream? You've come to the right place. I love sleeping. You sure do sleep a lot, Grandpa Sore. Sleep is a very important part of our lives. Sleeping gives you yeah. strength. So you can play all over again the next day. Yes, that's right, Theo. You also grow in your sleep. I was wondering why I didn't notice when I grew. I guess that's because I'm asleep. Great job, Mimi. There are multiple stages of sleep, like deep sleep and REM sleep. Over the course of the night, you go through each stage multiple times. During REM sleep, we have all kinds of exciting dreams. Wow. So Mimi and I were in REM sleep? And Dee Dee must have been in deep sleep, so he didn't have any dreams. Nobody stole Dee Dee's dream at all. He just didn't have one? That's right. We're not dreaming all night long. Thanks, Grandpa Zor. That's so interesting. You're a real sleep expert. See, Dee Dee, you didn't have to get upset. You'll have another chance to dream tonight. Let's go outside and come up with a new dream for Dee Dee. I want my very own dream. Bye, Bye Grandpa Zor. Bye, Grandpa Zor. <laughs> Have a good day, kids. Whew, that was a lot of talking. I gotta sleep it off. <laughs> what kind of 
dream do you want, Dee Dee? I want to fly. <laughs>